The challenge here is to get the new software we've been developing behind the scenes working in DevBot. So we'll know that we've achieved our goal when the driver steps out of the car, that's level one, and then once the car has done you know, four fully autonomous laps at speed on its own. You know, that's, the, that's the target for today. This is exactly what we want to do today. Our morning was about one test session where we've uh, seen that the functionality is working and uh, now we're here to test that our Explorer mode is working fine and we can switch from Explorer mode to high speed mode with no issues. So why do we need Explorer mode at all? When you initialize the car, it has to use information from lighters and cameras to learn the track and be able to generate a racing line. So we got a very important data from Paris that helped us reproduce the environment at our test facility so that we can improve the speed and improve the trajectory for our run in Berlin. So we just did uh, two laps at 100, four laps at 150, another four at 150, and then could the data prove fine? So uh, we upped it to 200, and everything was yeah perfect. The temperatures, everything was fine. So we're really, really happy today. It's a public demonstration. It's very much engineering focused. So it's always an engineering goal on the software development side to try a new module, put it in physical reality, and validating that. And success is really what you predicted actually happened. That's success.